Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick tutorial and final cut on how to use speed ramping techniques to create seamless transitions in your real estate videos or any video for that matter. But we're gonna be using examples of real estate promotional tour videos that I created. I'm just gonna show you a couple quick examples on how to use that speed ramp and final cut. So let's dive into it. All right, so now we're in Final Cut, and what I did is I just created a quick little project that has two clips from one real estate tour I did and then two clips from another. So this first one is just coming from the exterior of the house, and I wanted it to go whoosh right inside and just show those gorgeous vaulted ceilings, kind of like you're flying through the windows. So what I did was I picked a music that sounded good with it. Okay, so right where you hear that transition in the music happen is when I want the speed ramp to happen. So what I'm going to do in Final Cut is both of these clips were shot at 60 frames per second and we're in a 24 frame timeline. So we want to slow those down to give it a nice creamy smooth feel. And Final Cut has automatic speed which is going to do the math for you. So we've, we've slowed these clips down to 40% speed. Now I want to start my speed ramp right about here where the music buildup begins. So right about here. I'm going to use my range tool by hitting R on the keyboard and I can click and drag all the way into the next clip for where I want that speed ramp to end. There's another way to do this as well. So right here where I started my range tool, you can actually hit Shift B and that's going to create um, a break in the clip and then it allows you to speed ramp just the end of the clip and you can do that same thing over here you would hit shift B it would create a break in the clip and then give you another little arrow option to speed ramp that portion of the clip which basically has the exact or does have the exact same effect as this so with the range tool I've created this gap where I want my speed to begin and end and I'm going to do eight times on this one and now Final Cut has automatically created a speed ramp, which is one of my favorite things about this editing software. And then these bars you see here, here let me mute the music so that's not in the way. These bars you see here allow you to adjust how smooth your speed ramp is. So this beginning one is going from 40% and then this, this blank space is how it gradually increases to the full speed in the transition and then this area is how it gradually slows back down to 40 percent so you can play with that you can mess with that until you're satisfied with the look of the video so for here i'm going to bring the music back in and we'll see how this looks beautiful so another thing i would add is maybe just a little motion blur in between these two so it has more of a speed ramp effect now over here we're going to be doing the same thing. So here's another two clips where I'm coming around the dining room table and I want to speed ramp into the great room. So right now we've got 100% speed at 60 frames per second, two hard cuts. I'm going to slow these down to 40%. I like to pick the music ahead of time so you can see, I'll just show you really quick in the actual ad, this exact spot that we're going to do. So right here with this music is how it sounds and looks. It's a very cool way to just give the video a unique look to it when it comes to a real estate tour. Now let's go back to our project. So here's those two clips that I've got at 40%, oh, I already did that. So I've got them both at 40% speed, and I'll do the other technique now. So what I did before was right, right about here, I would normally hit the range tool. So if you wanna do it the other way, you just hit Shift B, creates that break I was telling you about, then you go right to where you want it to end. On this clip, hit Shift B again. Right here, you would go to 20 times. We're gonna have to zoom in a little bit here. And then right here. 20 times speed and now we have basically the exact same thing we just did and this is what you got 
So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Hit the notification bell and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos coming up. And as always, thanks for watching.